Hi everyone, this is Mernalika Banchdeo and I'm going to be taking you through today's afternoon session. So I just want you all to come to a comfortable position on your mats. And we can come to sit in a cross-legged position or you can opt to come into a child's pose. Relax the palms onto your knees. And we begin by taking nice deep breaths into the body. Just close your eyes. As we inhale, just allow the chest to expand. And as we exhale, you're going to draw the belly in towards your spine. Inhale. Allowing the chest to expand, feeling the air moving in through the nose, energizing the body, providing oxygen to all the cells in your body. As we exhale, we relax the shoulders, we relax the body down towards the mat. just in the same way keeping your focus on your breath we take five deep breaths Just observe the entire body expanding and contracting. And very gently, after that last exhale, open your eyes. So we're going to bring the palms in front of your chest. Stretch the arms up towards the ceiling. And as we exhale, bring the arms down to your mat. Bring the chin down to your chest. Inhale, palms in front of your chest. Moving up towards the ceiling. The head tilts up to look at the palms. And as we exhale, bring the palms down. Bring the chin to your chest. Follow the breath to continue. Breathing in. Lift the arms all the way up and as we breathe out, we bring the palms down, bring the chin to your chest. Last one. Inhale, bring the palms up towards the ceiling. Look up as the palms go up and as we exhale, bring the palms down, bring the chin down to your chest. From here, we're going to slide the body to the right side. Stretch the right hand out. Inhale the left hand up. We look up towards the ceiling. Keep that stretch all along the left side of the body. Now hold it here and breathe. If you wish, you can stretch the right palm further down. Breathing through the length of the left side. Inhale, gradually come back to center. Stretch the left arm out. Right hand up towards the ceiling, looking at your right hand. You have the option to stay here. Or you can stretch the left palm down further. Gradually bring the body back up to center. We're going to cross the feet at the ankles. And we're going to come into a tabletop position. So you're going to have your knees hip width apart both palms down onto your mat as we inhale drop the lower back and stretch the neck look up towards the ceiling exhale tuck the toes under and press the body back to a downward facing dog inhale drop the knees down stretch the head look up towards the ceiling and as we exhale press the knee push the hip back and come into a downward facing dog Few more times, we do the same thing, just warming up the body. So inhale, 
to lift up, moving into a cat pose. Exhale, tuck the toes under, move into Adho Mukha Shavasana, downward facing dog. So inhale, dropping the knees down, stretching that neck, looking up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tucking the toes under, press the body back to a downward facing dog. And while we're in a downward facing dog, we're just going to walk the heels up and down, opening up the backs of your legs. Keeping the palms and fingertips down. You're going to keep your head down and relax the head. And gently step the right foot forward in between your palms. Inhale, come up onto your fingertips, look forward. As we exhale, look down. Inhale, look forward, open the chest. Exhale, down. I'm going to keep that left palm down, right hand goes behind your back, roll the right shoulder open and look up towards the ceiling. Breathing into the body, left foot is engaged, right knee is inwards towards your chest. Very gently relax the right palm down and drop the left knee down to your mat. You're going to bend that left leg in. You take your right hand, grab onto that foot. Take both palms to grab onto the foot. Hold it to breathe. You're going to keep that lunge forward slightly. Breathing through the length of the body. Really stretching that upper left thigh. And gently taking the last two breaths. Releasing the foot back down, bring both palms down to your mat. Tuck the left toe under, take the right leg back into a plank. Bend the elbows, bring the body all the way down to your mat in a straight line. Chaturanga. Inhale to lift the chest up halfway, Bhujangasana or Cobra. And when we are lifting the chest halfway up into cobra, make sure the pelvis is pressing down, feet pressing down, kneecaps raised. Breathing into the body, strengthening the back. So we're really using very little of our palms and actually using our back muscles to lift the chest up, to draw that back up, opening the chest. Press the palms down, tuck the toes under, and we press back to a downward facing dog. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're going to gently step the left foot forward in between your palms. Just to, if your foot automatically doesn't come all the way forward, just feel free to take your time to bring it all the way forward. As we inhale, open the chest, look forward. Exhale, roll down on top of the left leg. Inhale to lift up, look forward. Exhale, relax back down. Now we're going to place that right palm down onto your mat. Left hand behind your back. Roll the left shoulder open. Look up towards the ceiling. You can take nice deep breaths. The shoulder opens up the chest, breathing into the body, pressing the left knee in towards the chest. Hold it here to breathe. Very gently, release the left palm down to your mat. And we take the left leg back, move back to a plank. So avoid the hip from sinking down, so keep that hip in that line with your shoulders, bend the elbows, bring the body all the way down. Inhale, lift the chest up into a cobra, Bhujangasana once again, keeping the feet pressing down, shoulders and chest lifted, breathing throughout the body. Very gently press the palms down. Keeping the knees bent, 
we're going to sit the hips down into a child's pose. So you're going to have your hips pressing down towards your heels, arms stretched forward and gently drop the forehead down to your mat. And if your hip seems a bit lifted from your heels, you can open the knees wider into a wide knee child's pose and then drop the hip down. Press the palms down. We're going to lift the body back into a tabletop position. Press the palms down, knees hip width distance apart. As we inhale, right hand up with the left leg. And breathe in to lift the hand and the leg higher. As we exhale, bend the knee and the elbow in front of your chest. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, bend it in. Breathing in to lift and breathe out. A few more times. Breathing in, take it up, breathe out. Last one time. Breathe in, lift and breathe out. This time I'm going to just inhale, straighten the right hand, left leg. Hold it here, breathe into the body, really start engaging the core muscles, coming into a nice balancing pose, breathing throughout the body, an option to look forward or you can look at a point on your mat. Gently relax the right palm, left knee down, opposite side, raise the left hand, right leg up. Inhale to lift it higher, exhale, bend the knee and the elbow in. Inhale to lift, exhale, bend the knee and elbow in front of your chest. Breathing in, lift, breathing out, we fold. Breathe in to lift, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, inhale up and exhale. This time we're going to inhale and hold it here, breathing well into the body, taking nice long breaths, pressing the opposite palm and knee down as we lift the left hand right leg. Gently release Bring the palm and knee down, stretching the palms forward, hips stacked on top of your knees, you're going to drop the chin and chest down. It's an excellent pose to open the shoulders and as you're breathing, just start relaxing the chin and the chest down. Breathing well into the body. very gently start lifting the body up walking the palms back tucking the toes under pressing up to a downward facing dog we're going to bring both the elbows down to your mat forearm down we're going to inhale raise the right leg up towards the ceiling hold it here and breathe Gently release the right leg down. Inhale, left leg up towards the ceiling. And hold it and breathe. Make sure the forearm presses down, shoulders away from your ears. And release the left leg down. Gradually come back up onto your palms. 
and you press back to a downward facing dog. You're going to step the right foot forward in between your palms. Left heel comes down to your mat. Inhale both the arms in front of your chest. Bend the right knee forward. Fold it here and breathe. Moving into warrior one or Virabhadrasana one. So you're going to keep the right knee bent. Left foot is at a 45 degree angle. Your hips are square to the front. Palms in front of your chest. Breathing into the body. Bending the right knee and sinking the hips down as the knee bends forward. Pressing the left foot down. Very gently. Straighten the right knee. Interlock the elbows behind your back. Inhale to lift the chest up. Exhale, bend the body forward over the right leg. Keeping the knees straight. Body bent forward over the right leg. And as we inhale, chest is expanded. As we exhale, tuck that belly in and bend the body forward further. Just opening up the back of the right leg. Making sure that the left leg remains active. Gradually release the palms, bring them down to either side of the right leg. Inhale, lift the right hand up towards the ceiling. Take it actually behind your back. Roll that chest open and look in the right direction or we look up towards the ceiling. Breathing into the body, holding it here. Very gently release the right palm down. Bend the right knee and just bring the foot towards the middle of your mat. Gently lift the left leg up. An option to keep the palms down or bring both palms onto your right knee. So you very gently place the palms onto your right knee or shin. Keep the left leg elevated. Find a point of focus on your mat. Breathe into the body. Release the right hand down, followed by the left. Relax the left foot down to your mat. We're going to take the right leg back into a downward facing dog. Inhale to a plank. Exhale, bend the elbows halfway. Inhale up to an upward facing dog. And hold it here. Shoulders back, chest open on the backs of your feet. Push the body back to a downward facing dog. We're going to just take a couple of breaths here. Just swaying that hip from left to right. You're going to step the left foot forward in between your palms. The right heel comes down to your mat. Keeping the left knee bent, bring the palms in front of your chest. Moving back to warrior one on the opposite side. You press the left knee forward. Right foot presses down, keeping that leg straight and active. Looking forward, hips square to the front. Breathe into the body. Very gently straighten the left knee. We're going to interlock the fingers. The, we're going to grab onto your elbows actually. Inhale to lift the chest open. Exhale, scoop the belly in and bend the body forward over the left leg. 
So hold it here to breathe. Keeping both feet active and engaged. Feeling that stretch all along the left leg, the back of the left leg actually. Breathing throughout the body as we keep the body bent forward. Last few breaths. And very gently release the elbows. Bring the fingertips down to your mat on either side of the left leg. Tilt the body to the left and take the left hand behind your back. Roll the left shoulder open to look up towards the ceiling. Keep the left hip turned in. So avoid it from sticking out. Breathing into the body. And very gently bring the left palm down. Bend the left knee and just step the foot to the middle of your mat. Keeping the fingertips down, raise the right leg up. And gently bring both palms onto your left ankle or shin. Hold it here and breathe. Keep the right leg elevated. Gently release the left palm down, followed by the right. Bring the right foot back along the mat. Palms down, take the left leg back. Pushing back to a downward facing dog. Breathing into the body. Inhale into a plank. Exhale, bend the elbows halfway, come down. And inhale, lift up into an upward facing dog. Exhale, back to a downward facing dog. And gradually drop the knees down to your mat. Sitting the hips down into a child's pose. Elbows bent to the side and forehead down. Take nice deep breaths. Really observing the chest expanding and contracting as we take a few breaths in child's pose. Sitting those hips down onto your heels, keeping the forehead down, relaxing the back as well as the neck. Gradually, we'll come back to the tabletop position. Bend the elbows, bring the chin and chest down. Slide the chest up halfway and we're going to bring the arms down to your side relax the chin down onto your mat and bending both the knees take the palms to grab onto your ankles inhale to lift the body all the way up so the legs shoot upwards towards the ceiling, heels away from your hip, palms grabbing onto your heels, rolling the shoulders and chest forward. So moving into Anurasana bow pose, excellent pose to strengthen the back and open the front line of the body. Breathing into the body just for five more breaths. On that last exhale, relax the legs down. 
relax the arms down and drop the head down. Both arms by the side of the shoulders. Lift up into a plank. Step the right foot forward, followed by the left. You come to sit down on your hips. You're going to stretch both legs out. Bend your right knee. And you're going to place the right knee down to your mat. Left leg is straightened out. Inhale, arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, scoop the belly in. Stretch the body forward over the left leg. The palms can grab onto your shin, your ankles, or wrap them around your left leg. Body is bending forward, keeping that back straight. Avoid the back from slouching in. You're going to have your left toes flexed so that your entire leg is active. Breathe into the body. Gently coming up all the way to sit. We're going to straighten out the right leg. Bend the left knee in. So your left foot comes on the inside of the right thigh. Inhale, arms up towards the ceiling. As we exhale, bend the body forward. Wrap the arms around your leg or you can bring it onto your ankle or shin. Keeping the body bent forward. Breathing throughout the body. Just noticing sensations which may be arising at the back of your legs as those muscles are stretched open. And gradually lifting all the way back up to sit. Gonna stretch both legs out along the mat. Gonna have your toes pointing towards you. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, now bring the body all the way forward over the leg and drop the head down. You can interlock the fingers around the feet. You can grab onto your ankles or shin. Stay there and breathe. And even while we're bent forward, we're really inhaling to open up the chest. Exhale to scoop the belly in and lean forward. So inhale, opening up that chest. Exhale, scoop the belly in and we lean forward. Gradually coming all the way back up. We're going to cross the legs and sit up. Keeping the palms onto your knees. Just closing your eyes, taking a couple of breaths. Place that right palm onto your chest. Just observing the chest expanding and contracting with each breath. Noticing your heart rate, if you can feel it. And just tuning in to your own bodies. Noticing how you feel. Feel that chest expand and contract 
against your palm. Observing what it feels like to stay alive. Gently release the right palm down to your mat. And we're going to open the eyes. Namaste and thank you so much for joining me for the on the evening uh, afternoon session. If you have any comments or questions, you can DM me on my Instagram, which is Munalaka Bhanjdeo. You can also find my website, which is MunalakaBhanjdeo.com. Thank you. Have a lovely day.